oh, beautiful yeah. smallie for Justin here. Oh, it's coming up. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Tank smallie. They're all schooled up right here. It's Another huge. stud smallie. Wow. We are on some fish now, boys. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. Just got here to Oneida Lake, north of Syracuse, New York. We've been staying at Waterloo Harbor Campground over in the Finger Lakes. We're out here with our good buddy Justin, our new friend Scott, and we're gonna be going out today, hopefully for walleye. It's a fish I've never targeted before. Jamie's never caught one before, so new to us. Gonna be throwing some stuff I've never thrown before, but we went and picked up some supplies yesterday. But yeah, we're about to launch. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to be no wind today. It's gonna get up to about 67 degrees. It's looking glassy. It's looking beautiful. Like my co-star here. Classy and beautiful. Not classy. That's not what I said. Gla <laughs> Ready to do it? So we just launched here on Oneida Lake. We are going for walleye today. Something I've never chased on purpose. I've caught a couple on accident, never a big one. We're throwing basically kind of bait fish imitations. So we've got, I would call this like a big rooster tail. I'm sure there's a more uh, accurate name for it, but we're gonna be running this on weed lines around 10 to 12 feet deep. And they're saying these walleye are up shallow right now, which much more my comfort zone. So this is a Kitex swim bait. Got a little flasher on it. I'm gonna try the flasher this morning. And there's also a big pike in this lake. Just got this in from West End, basically kind of like a rattle trap, but almost more so. I mean, you can jerk it, you can swim it, you can do all kinds of things with it. It suspends, beautiful coloration on it. That's kind of the game plan today. All right, well, the walleye appear to be playing hard to get this morning. Scott here appears to be on a mission to catch every chain pickerel in Oneida Lake. These things are a nuisance. Justin's caught a couple of them too. I'm trying to avoid them by throwing different baits, but I'm not having any luck myself. accidentally let it sink into the weeds and when I ripped it out it got hit but I was too slow beautiful smallie for Justin here oh yeah little Kitex swim baits we picked up yesterday at Bass Pro one of my go-to I've been throwing it religiously great fish so it's been a tough morning they've each got a, a few chain pickerel I have caught diddly but Justin just sucked the first nice fish of the morning beautiful smallmouth of course on the exact same thing I've been chunking for the last hour no, no big deal all right, man, we got the right spot now. Yeah, totally. We came out here a little bit deeper, a couple, couple feet deeper than we've been fishing. We've been fishing about 10, it's about 13 out here. And maybe that, that subtle change was the difference. All right, you guys. I'm gonna level with you for a minute. Tough day today. We're, these guys were wearing the chain pickerel out this morning. I did not want to catch the chain pickerel, so I stubbornly didn't throw what they were throwing. Now, I wouldn't mind feeling a chain pickerel tug them. Do you mind? Got this epic monologue going. She just casually creeps into frame. I don't yeah. want to come in. But this is in the. I want to come in. I want to come in. Get out of here. That's what we're throwing right now. This is the Kitek swim bait. It's got ribs, super soft tail. They do not hold up very well to fish, but killer action in that tail, even when you slow roll it. One of my go tos. and. Justin got something on it, so we'll see. 
Oh, just in time. Jamie's here. Stop. Fish on. Rob's got a fish on. It feels heavier than a pickerel, but I'm not sure. First fish of the day. Feels decent. It's not a chain pickerel. What is it? Oh, it's coming up. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Tank Smalley. Good Smalley. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Great. Yeah, dude. Hi. Now we're talking, man. Oh, beautiful fish. Look at that. Stud fish. We do not get many smallmouth where I come from in Texas. So I've not had many chances to fish for them, but that is a beauty. Nice catch, bud. So that's that Kitech swim bait we were just talking about. It is working. That is what I'm talking about. Let me get a get my phone and uh, submit this guy in the fish brain app. Beauty. You know, it's funny, my second, probably the only other smallmouth I've ever caught even this class was in New York. Was it? Yep. Beauty. Nice. Nice. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. <laughs> we might have an episode. We just might. New York football. Football season's so, back. They're just bad fish. Yeah. I mean, mine was definitely a little bigger, but yeah, yeah. Wow. Another. Really? They're all schooled up right here. It's Another huge. stud smallie just, just looked up right next to me after I released that last one. Wow! We are on some fish now, boys. Oh, look at that rod band, dude. That's a oh. Woo! great fish, dude. Woo! Back to back to back. <laughs> That's bigger than out. the first one. Better figure something out now. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Dude, great fish, man. That hit like right into the boat too, huh? It did. Well, yeah, what? just sitting on the bottom too. He just sucked it up off the ground. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of them underneath us right now. All right, so slow morning. We could not figure out the walleye, nothing but chain pickerel. We came out here a little bit deeper and now we're figuring something out. That's three small mouth we've pulled out of this one little area. They, they're saying that they're marking more. Uh, something's got these bass schooled up right around here, so. I'm in the weeds. Oh, dude. Look at that. It's a fish. It's a fish. I got a fish. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what it is. If it's a pickerel, yeah. A decent one though. Oh, God. Dude, stop, stop. It's a good one though. So there is a chain pickerel here on Oneida Lake. Not what we're looking for. These guys are a pest. They are a nuisance. Basically like a northern pike, but they do not get very big. But uh, he smashed the spinnerbait in all this thick grass. They got sharp teeth, just like a northern pike or a muskie. Well, you guys, in the end, the walleye eluded us. They did not want to cooperate today, but for a slow day to rip out three tank smallmouth, I can't, we lost count of how many chain pickerel, I got one. Uh, Justin got a few, and Scott, I think, got every other chain pickerel in the lake. It was a tough day, slow day, but in the end, caught some fish. Sure as hell beats a day in the office, but we are all starving. None of us brought any food on the water, like a bunch of idiots. So we are gonna go get loaded up, go grab some grub, and uh, I got fish jumping out right here in front of me. And uh, get ready, because we're gonna be going back out with Justin and Jamie, of course, later this week to go after pike and musky in Canisius Lake. So excited for that. We're gonna be doing a little big game fishing up here in upstate New York. Huge thanks to Justin for bringing us out, showing us a good time. He's been so good to us. He's such an awesome guy. He's so funny and uh, he has just been taking care of us in every way you can imagine. So huge thanks to him. Check out Fuzzy Guppies if you're in the Finger Lakes region and you need kayak gear, any kind of gear like that, check him out. He also rents kayaks. There's great fishing right there on his property and Waterloo Harbor Campground is connected to it where we're staying for these couple weeks here in the Finger Lakes. So check him out. Cannot recommend him enough. Not only are they great businesses, but he is just an awesome dude. Fun day. It was tough. It was a grind, but I got some fish and I caught one of the biggest smallies I've caught in my life. So. How can you complain about that? 
What did I do? I was just talking to Rob. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. No, I'm talking to Rob. A B conversation. Shoot me out. I cannot believe they won't pick up the wacky Senko. There's no fish in this lake. It's the only explanation. You know that's not true. Nope. I don't. You caught that football. Nope, I don't even know if I did anymore. You caught that football. Is that the only fish you caught? Yep. This isn't, there's, there's, there's no need to count. It's gonna be ah. on Instagram. Wait for, oh, I keep forgetting it's there. Life is a funny, funny way. Sneaking up on you. Yeah. It's always room for exes. I don't know about that. All my exes live in Texas. Seriously. I got exes all over the country. Seriously, great fish. All over the world. Pimping all over the world.